Hey guys, James here from Dream House Music, and in today's video, we're gonna go over the E major scale. We're gonna do hands separate, right and left, two octaves, um, hands together, one octave, and then the formula for building the E major scale. All right, let's jump right into it. E major scale, right hand. I'm gonna play it, then break it down. very straightforward so basically we start with our thumb uh, which is finger one right finger one two three four five all right from thumb to pinky one to five finger one on E and we place our hands um, like so in position okay and basically we have three sharps F sharp G sharp and C sharp and here's all the notes okay so I'm on E, then we go finger two to F sharp, finger three to G sharp, then from G sharp to A, we have to pivot, right? So we pivot, put our thumb under our third finger or middle finger, and just go like so, then recenter our hand. Very simple, and we just go all the way up. Finger two on B, finger three on C sharp, finger four on D sharp, and then pinky on E. Then we go back down. Pinky on E, four on D sharp, Finger three on C sharp, two on B, finger one on A. From A, we have to pivot to G sharp, finger three. So we just pivot on our left hand, slightly twist our hand like so. Then recenter, two on F sharp, one on E. Very straightforward. You could pause and rewind this video if you have to um, take another look. All right, but let's jump to E major scale left hand. Okay, I'm gonna start an octave um, below down here on this E. So here we go. I'm gonna play it and then break it down. Okay, so in our left hand, thumb is one. Two, three, four, five. All right, so five is pinky on E. Okay, and then we place our hand like so, and then we just go up. So E, F sharp, finger four, G sharp is finger three, middle finger, two on A, finger one on B, which is our thumb. Now from B to C sharp, we have to do a pivot like so. It's just a slight twist on your thumb to your middle finger on C sharp, then go up, two on D sharp, and to E. And go back down, same fingers. E, D sharp, C sharp, right? From C sharp, we pivot to B, then just go all the way down. Okay, very straightforward. Now let's do two octaves. I'll do my right hand uh, two octaves. Um, I'm assuming you're, you're probably a little bit more advanced if you're doing two octaves. Um, master hands. I master one octave before you do two octaves, okay? Um, so I'll just play through. Okay, so um, playing two octaves is pretty much the same. You're just continuing up the scale, okay? If you're a beginner, an octave is from one note to the very same note, eight steps higher up the scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight as an octave, okay? So it's eight steps higher. It's the same note, a different pitch, okay? So two octaves is playing the scale between these three, just like I showed you. Okay, and it's pretty much the same. Right, when you reach D sharp, which is the seventh note in the scale, you just twist under, pivot under to your thumb, and go up. Very straightforward, and then back down, okay? Left hand, um, let's do left hand two octaves. Okay, here we go.
just like with our right hand doing two octaves with your left hand you're just continuing continuing uh, up up the scale continuing um where you left off from the first octave right so that's one octave then you just keep on going so when you reach your thumb here you pivot to f sharp from your fourth and keep on going then back down same thing f sharp finger four cross under to e recenter go back down right and then from c sharp middle finger cross under thumb to b and then go down okay um now let's do hands together before you do hands together make sure you master hands separately as your pivot points are different for each hand okay i'm just going to do one octave for this video hands together Okay, you can pause and rewind that video. Uh, once you have hands separately mastered, hands together will be uh, a lot easier. Okay, now let's talk about the formula for building the major scale. In this instance, we're building the E major scale. So there's a formula like I've shared in my other videos, right? And it's it's using uh, what are called steps, okay? So when you're going up the scale, when you're playing notes on the piano, you're going up in steps, all right? So from one note to the very next note is what's called a half step. Okay, whether it's a black key or white key. So E to F would be a half step. F to F sharp is that another half step. However, going from E to F sharp, as we have in the first two notes in the E major scale, is what's called a whole step because there's two two half steps. Two halves equals a whole. Music is maths. All right, so so we play the root, and then you go up a whole step, and then you go up another whole step. Okay, so it's root. Play a root note, whole step, whole step, and then you go up a half step. And then it's whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. This is the formula for building a major scale. You could use this formula to build a major scale on any of the 12 unique notes. Okay? So, let's do it again. Let's say W is whole step, H is half step. So the formula is play your root, then you go up, whole step, sorry, root, W, W, H, W, 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 H. That's the formula. Okay? So play the root, W, W, H, W, 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 H. All right? Whole step, whole step, half step, A to B is a whole step, B to C sharp is a whole step, C sharp to D sharp is a whole step, and then D sharp to E is a half step. So there you have the formula, easy peasy. Hope this video helped. Uh, leave uh, some comments. Let me know if that was straightforward if you, or if you have any questions. Take care. Want to learn how to play even more gospel chords without theory overwhelm? Simply download the top seven beginner gospel chords PDF by clicking the link in the description. You'll learn about the top seven must know gospel chords and how to use them in gospel songs you already know. Again, to get access, hit that link below and I'll see you on the inside.